Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Priyanka Kumar. I'm a tarot card reader who brings messages to you uh, when I uh, feel like doing a general reading through YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the subscribers who constantly keep following my messages and uh, uh, for the wonderful feedback that you share, which keeps motivating me to do more and more. So today we're going to be looking at a reading uh, called Yes or No. Uh, so here you can feel free to uh, pick more than one pile. Uh, so the piles that we have today is the yellow candle, the purple candle, the vanilla candle and the red candle. All of them are hearts and all of these are scented candles which are available on my website myrashop.com. If you would like to purchase any of my products, they are all uh, completely organic, handmade with a lot of love. So you can go check out the description box below for the link. Uh, so today's reading is a yes or no question. A uh, lot of people have these uh, constant uh, questions in their mind. If this is true, this is not true. What is the situation around? And they're just looking for a yes or no. So I'm going to be doing that kind of a reading today. And if you have multiple questions, you can uh, pause the video, see which question you are most attracted to for which pile. So this gives you an opportunity to, to pick more than one pile for multiple questions that you have. All right. So uh, you can meditate upon your question for a while and then intuitively, whichever pile that you are guided to the most, pick that pile and the timestamps are mentioned in the description box below. All right, let's move ahead to the reading. Welcome to pile number one for those who picked the yellow color heart candle. Let's take a look at what is the message for you. I'm sure that you already have a situation in mind and you wish to know if the answer is yes or no. We will look into the other aspects of the reading as we move ahead. But uh, it is not an in-depth reading. Uh, so please be aware of that. Let's see if it is a yes or a no. Okay. Okay, we have the two of swords, the five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Okay, whatever situation that you're facing slightly uh, is moving towards a yes. Initially, the answer is no, I would say. But then this is a very strong, powerful card. So I would say that uh, whatever situation that you're facing right now, uh, at this moment, it is a no. Okay. But if you make further efforts, if you make uh, changes in your energy system, if you if you work and progress towards it, then it can become a yes. Okay. And uh, it could also be a situation to involve something uh, with the money because I also have this as the card. Okay, I have a lot of money cards here. Okay. also the two of cups okay maybe the situation uh, had something to do with a person uh, who was very close to your heart who played a lot with your emotions and maybe uh, it had something to do with money as well okay so uh, this situation can become a yes only because if you are more strong and capable okay i see a very strong feminine energy in this card it could be you or it could be the other person but there is a very strong feminine energy in this reading present here today uh, so that is a sign that you have to invoke a lot of your divine powers of being a feminine okay or uh, praising praising the um, mantras or you know chanting the Devi mantras will also help you get back uh, the money that you have lost or uh, even for that matter get back your money um, or whatever that the situation is that can become a yes because of that okay so that is the reason uh, and there is a slight bit of uh, uh, imbalance in the emotional system here and it looks like uh, there are two parts here and they betrayed you and they did not mean to betray you but it somewhere happened through the progress in the journey of this uh, scenario 
so that is what uh, is the reading about why this situation is a no more than a yes okay so if this situation has to become a yes you definitely have to work towards it okay you have to be more strong you have to be more uh, courageous and um, be more grounded violent ways are not going to work here working with the emotions of this person like knowing where to tackle them how to um, how, uh, like how to know where to tackle them and you know there are certain points for a person where that is like the weak points and uh, you know talking to them in a certain way triggers them right so the trigger to this person is their kind of emotions that you hold in connection with this person so um, connecting this uh, with that person will definitely help you make this situation into a yes okay uh, it also looks like you have walked away from the situation because i have this as the deck of energy and you have walked away from the situation although you still hold certain feelings in this situation you still are thinking about it you have not started taking actions but you're still thinking about the situation and you're wondering as to uh, even though i've walked away from it if this is ever going to become a yes or if this is ever going to change the situation and how do i go about it so there is still that thinking process that is happening in your mind uh, so if if you start taking actions then definitely uh, you will get back into the situation and it will definitely become a yes okay i will pick some more cards uh, for your situation as to what is that you can do to make this situation into a yes okay what is that that you can do to make this situation a yes okay yes definitely you need to take actions uh, yes so uh, currently there is that uh, separation zone and also there is some kind of awakening that is happening in this uh, journey uh, so what is that you have to do is that you have to look for new ways as i mentioned earlier you have to look new ways because with this situation even this person has started realizing the mistakes that they have made uh, by cheating you and uh, how it has uh, you know um, been a uh, uh, been on the back of their mind as to why they did this and which they shouldn't have done it okay so there is that moment where they have started to realize things like that and they are coming to understanding about this whole situation you will definitely know every little detail about this situation because the situation is going to be completely transparent in front of you and also seeking help of your family will help you okay seeking help of family and thinking of new ways of making this happen and you need to uh, light up that fire again in this situation you have to get up and make that action you have to make that move in this situation only then will things start to uh, manifest for you okay i i see that you've walked away from this situation you know, and you're only dreaming about it you're only thinking about it but it's important that you take your family support with this card uh, it is definitely through your family support it is definitely possible so take your family support think of new ideas of how you can uh, tackle this person with their emotions and their weak points and then in a gentle and a calm way violence is definitely not going to help you in a gentle and a very calm way if you look at this then this situation is definitely going to be a yes for you okay i will pick one last card from the oracle deck oops the stand moved i'm sorry there's one last oracle message for you it's the card of desire okay have the deepest desires in this uh, situation and this is the deck energy miracles if you have deep desires for anything miracles will happen in your situation and it will manifest for you okay believe that even after sunset there is definitely going to be a sunrise again all right on that note i come to the end of this reading i hope this helps if so please do let me know in the comments below i would be more than happy to hear your feedback and thank you so much for hearing me out today take care and have a good day bye bye welcome to pile number two for those who picked the purple color candle let's take a look at 
what is the message for you if it is a yes or a no i'm sure that you already have a situation in mind and what is the outcome of the situation is what we will take a look at if the answer is a yes or a no okay the situation for you is I would say kind of a <clears throat> yes I will also clarify as to why it is kind of a yes and uh, slightly stuck between the no the chances of no is very very minimal uh, so I would still consider the situation is going to be a yes for you I say that there's a need for you to let go of something from your past that is holding you back from manifesting this answer to be a yes and there's a lot of focus that is needed in this situation i also see that there is some kind of a new spark or a new beginning that is happening and the situation for you seems like this is an option for you and there is still no clarity if this is the one for you I'm not going to get into the details of what your situation is and everything but I will also pick more cards so that it gives me a clarity to understand and guide you better okay there is a sudden change in the situation there is a sudden burst of energy which is very unexpected and it may be happening for you too quickly than you expected there are a lot of cards that have been flipped and I'm going to pick all of them. Uh, so I see that, yes, with all of these cards, I can say that, yes, the situation is definitely going to be a yes for you. Uh, the reason why I said that it is slightly towards the no is because there is some kind of a change that is needed in the situation. After that is when the situation is going to turn itself into becoming a complete yes so till then it is going to be a slightly towards no and uh, the system uh, or the energies that you have needs to be balanced out so there is this fluctuation of things between yes and a no for you in your own mind and there's a confusion and it looks like it is moving towards negative but it is actually moving towards positive the sudden change or the sudden uh, fall that can happen in a situation is much much needed for you because if the sun doesn't set and if you think that it's becoming darker and darker and there's no clarity in your situation how will the sunrise happen again in your situation right so that is what i see for you that that pitfall the downfall is necessary for you it may be very very unexpected but that is what is going to bring you the new sunshine in your life okay and all of this uh, could could be happening to you through your family and there can be family members involved in this i wouldn't want to get into what aspect of uh, your uh, uh, situation this is but it's just that I would like to tell you that your situation is definitely a yes okay uh, so we'll look at more cards for what should you be doing at this point of time so that you'll be able to balance well I'm sorry about that I often tend to move my phone so let's take a look at what should your course of action be in this situation what is that you should be doing okay oops I'm really sorry about that yeah so what should you be doing at this point of time I see that it is time for you to uh, embrace all the uh, success embrace all the achievements and uh, it is time for you to understand that the risks that you take are all worth it okay and you need to keep moving faster okay the hard work that you're putting in the effort that you're putting in is definitely paying you well 
but there is the need of that fierce energy that is required so being slow is not going to help don't be cold hearted and don't be uh, stuck in the winter kind of situation when i say winter it means that uh, you know don't don't stay stagnant winter is somewhere where people like to be cozy and just be stagnant and not do a lot of work and activities right so you have to get out of that zone you have to keep moving you have to take that risk irrespective of what the situation is okay you need to keep moving you need to keep taking further actions and that is what is going to uh, take you into a uh, much uh, bigger places okay that is the need of the hour for you to uh, work towards your goal or whatever the situation is to make yes okay i will pick one last oracle card for you from the deck sunburst i designed this myself and this is also available for sale if you're looking for oracle cards so the message that i have for you the two cards is fabulous and grow so you will grow out of the situation and the outcome of the situation is definitely a fabulous one okay and the deck energy card that i have for is faith and miracle so this card was repeated again in the previous pile as well so when you have a lot of faith and uh, belief in your own work in your own self definitely miracles are bound to happen and when you know that you're on the right path and you are not cheating anybody you're not harming anybody but you're just focused upon your own work it will definitely take you to places right so that's all i have for you in this reading i hope this helps and um, i'm so glad that i could do this reading for you uh, thank you so much for choosing me today to read cards for you and i will see you again sometime soon take care and have a good day bye bye welcome to pile number three for those who picked the white color heart candle so let's take a look at what is the message for you i'm sure that you've already picked a situation and you want to know if the situation is going to be a yes or a no all right okay the situation is definitely a yes and uh, wait let me just get that right okay i see you becoming more powerful and more strong with this situation and uh, i also see that there is a lot of focus that is happening you are manifesting this and this whole situation is come to you like a big blessing in disguise uh, you are somewhere uh, aware of what you want and you have a huge clarity upon the situation and you know uh, what is that that you're seeking uh, that level of clarity is what is going to make this situation a complete yes uh, the kind of focus that you have on this is huge okay uh, there is also the kind of uh, courage that you have uh, that makes you want to achieve all that that you desire okay i'm not going to go into the details of what the situation is or how why when and all of that but yes the situation is going to be a yes for you okay i will also pick more cards for your situation as to let's see what is happening okay so um the situation may have a little bit of a confusion uh, or you may be juggling between the two things and uh, uh but definitely you have a clarity and again this is the deck energy card here and this and this all right so in this situation what is happening is that uh, there is a need for you to uh, take a strong decision as i mentioned the whole scenario of this becoming a yes is going to make you so powerful so very courageous okay and you will become a very bold person the whole situation when it when it is done or when it uh, just happens uh, you will realize how much this has made made you a very strong person and the need uh, for you to uh, do all of this the way uh, you become more stronger and stronger is uh, how i see uh, you i mean the journey of you becoming stronger is what is going to happen okay 
here there is a three of swords which may be heartbreak a uh, card but here i see that that heartbreaking card is you breaking from the ties of the devil okay which means that uh, there is some kind of a karmic bondage uh, or a or a very uh, behavior uh, pattern that is not very uh, pleasing or appealing to you and that is what is the big decision that you will make and you will realize that you can stay without the devil the devil here means that it could be bad behavior bad addictional behaviors or it can also be a toxic relationship a karmic relationship whatever that it may be as i mentioned i'm not going to go into the detail of that but just giving you the gist of that that, that is what is going to keep you uh, confusing and uh, that is what is what you are going to break free from okay so there is this duality of should i stay in this should i not stay in this okay in this situation so when so even this knight of swords is a card where you have to go against the winds to make something happen you have to go against certain things so it is not going to be easy for you it is definitely not easy to break a pattern right so let's say for example if you constantly have the habit of eating a lot of chocolates and you have to get out of it it's not going to be easy initially you'll have to slowly reduce it you'll have to find an alternative and that's when so it is like going against your own ways right so knight of swords is a card that tells me that you have have to go against some decisions which may not be easy that is what is going to maybe break your heart but the outcome is definitely the successful one and the outcome of this whole scenario is going to make you so strong so powerful and so courageous which is uh, which is why the situation is going to be uh, completely a different transforming uh, uh, you know um, journey for you ahead okay um let me uh, just pick one last card for you from the oracle deck okay i will also pick few cards for what should you be doing in this situation although we've discussed uh, about the scenario and how you should be taking bold steps and actions i'll just pick few cards for what should you be doing in this situation what is your course of action okay so your course of action should be that uh, you need to break ties with other people around you okay it may look like uh, you are betraying them or they may feel uh, and this is the deck energy card here it may feel like you have a lot of people around you who are trying to advise you but this situation belongs only to you and you have to deal with it all by yourself you shouldn't be listening to other people around and it is very important that you make these decisions and actions uh, as per your own terms and conditions okay how many ever people get involved in this do not allow them because that is again going to cause you more confusion more drama and that will also cause you more headache okay do not listen to other people in this situation okay i will pick last cards for you from the oracle deck the cards that i have for you is faith divine and also a blessing so this whole scenario is a huge blessing for you from the divine itself so the divine is acting upon in this situation all you have to do is you need to have faith upon the divine upon the universe and upon yourself that you will be able to get through this situation okay this is a very big blessing for you because there are a lot of major cards here so it is definitely going to be a yes but you need to have uh, the courage to make strong decisions and uh, go against the odds to fight for this situation all by yourself without listening to anybody in this situation okay and have a lot of faith there is going to be huge blessings in your way all right so that's all i have for you in this reading i hope this helps if so please do let me know in the comments below i would be more than happy to hear from you and um, you can connect with me on my whatsapp or on my instagram for private readings i will see you again sometime soon take care and have a good day bye bye welcome to pile number four for those who picked the red color heart candle let's take a look at what is the message and what is the reading for you i'm sure that you've already picked a situation that you need to know if it is a yes or a no okay the hanged man the page of swords 
the seven of cups i would say the situation is neither a yes nor a no okay we will clarify by the end of the reading if it is going to be a yes or a no but in the beginning of the reading i can say that it is a maybe okay it is neither a yes it is not a no there is a lot of uh, options in this situation that is uh, making you this confusion and you are close to getting something that you want but there is a lot of doubt there is a self limiting belief there is a fear and um, there is also the kind of doubt that if you are on the right track or not if this is meant for you or not if you should actually be taking this into consideration or not so there's huge emotions involved as well in this situation and that is why it is making you feel this way and we have the hermit the five of cups and the strength okay okay uh, for you to get a clarity in this situation i would say that you need to spend a lot of time alone you need to uh, understand that uh, uh, you know it is important that you contemplate this you introspect yourself and understand as to what is that you desire out of this situation currently the clarity is lacking because uh, you don't know if you want the situation to be yes or a no okay you yourself do not have that clarity like you're moving towards a yes and then suddenly it's becoming a no so you're switching in between these two options for yourself so that is what is uh, not giving you the answer as well and that is why even the reading tells me that you need that clarity and here i see that for you your own answers will come when you spend time alone when you introspect yourself okay and what is that you need to do in this situation you definitely have to spend time alone and refrain from uh, meeting a lot of people and uh, you know socializing and all of that okay uh, for you to get clarity also traveling will help you a lot i see a lot of travel cards here uh, traveling and uh, to places of nature places of water especially uh, will give you a certain kind of clarity but please remember guys that you'll have to do all of this alone do not involve more people in this okay the more people you involve in it the more it is going to be confusing for you okay so uh, what you should be doing in this situation is that when you spend a lot of time alone with yourself you will be able to get a clarity and you will be able to spark that fire within you towards what is that that you truly want okay i see that this is some kind of an achievement that you're getting uh, into and uh, i i i don't want to get into the aspect of what is that uh, situation and why is that situation and we're not going into all of those details but this situation there's a huge possibility of it becoming a yes but you yourself are blocking it okay i am going to pick few cards to see what is the final outcome of the situation after you kind of uh, spend yourself uh you know time alone and introspect yourself we will uh, see that it is very important that you do all of this alone and not with any other people around you so let's just uh, take a look at more cards for it okay even the final outcome of this situation is going to be a no okay but you will learn a lot of lessons from this okay you're going to also regret the situation for not taking actions so now that you've heard this reading if you want the situation to become a yes you know what you need to do okay but the answer to this situation is a no because i see that uh, you have a lot of uh, things to understand and realize uh, which is why it is uh, again i have the three of cups so you you tend to get influenced a lot because of other people around you okay uh, it is you know, it is kind of difficult for you to make decisions all by yourself and balance out your emotions which is why you will keep seeking answers from other people around you so 
I see that this situation is going to be a no. Now that I've clarified, it is going to be a no. But you will realize a lot of things. You will understand a lot of things. And uh, you will be able to judge yourself. And you will be able to... Uh, there's a lot of realization that's going to happen in this pile. Okay. There's a lot of realization that's going to happen. Um, uh, a lot of things to do with your emotions as well. Your emotions can play a huge role for you. Your emotions, your mood swings, which is going to be ups and downs. And you won't be able to understand if you are kind of trying to balance it. It is just going out of balance. Your huge drawback is that you share a lot of things with other people. And you don't hold it back to yourself. Which is why you feel like you're trapped in the situation. Okay. Uh, unless you do it yourself, this is what is going to be the result. Okay. I'm sorry to say that, but that's the reality. Okay, that's the truth that I see in these cards today for you. I will pick some final cards uh, from the oracle as a guidance for you. Desire, there's a lot of burning desire that you have. The card is wonderful and you also have fabulous. Okay, uh... The deck energy, I'm sorry, just give me a minute. The deck energy is the card of fear, which is very important. I don't know if you can see this. This is the card of fear. I see that you fear losing something. Uh, also, you have uh, the um, fear, the self-doubt. As I mentioned earlier, at the beginning of the reading, there's a lot of self-doubt uh, that you have when you're coming closer towards the end of a situation or you're about to complete a task. You start to doubt yourself and you wonder if this is what I want or uh, and you also think if this is possible by me to finish it. So that is the self-doubt and the fear that you have in doing anything which stops you from your own progress. Okay, let go of that and then only your desires will become fabulous and wonderful. Otherwise, you will always stay stuck in the zone of fear. All right. I hope this reading helps and that's all I have for you today in this reading and I will see you again sometime soon. Uh, you can con contact me on my WhatsApp or on my Instagram for personal readings. I will be more than happy to help you with it. I will see you again sometime soon. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.